Hey, I hope my neighbor's lawnmower isn't too loud. And you can hear me okay. It's kind of a windy day. And I wanted to just talk today about some of the things that surprised me about my ProMaster. Um, after driving it around and living in it for two or three weeks, some of the things that I didn't know or wouldn't have expected to find about it. So most of these things are things that would come with just the raw van um, without being built out as a camper van. So this isn't necessarily a camper van video. There's one thing at the very end um, that I'll talk about that has to do with just the design of our camper van. Um, but the rest of the things are just the things that come with the van itself in its raw form. So the first thing is this passenger seat that I'm sitting next to here. What I discovered about it is that it goes all the way back, completely flat. And I've never had a car that had a passenger seat that goes all the way back. Um, this one also swivels around. And so that's something that you can do. Um, it's a kind of an after factory option that you can add on or have the dealer add on if you would like. It's not standard, but, um, but that's really cool too, to have it swivel around. But that's something I, I already knew about and I expected. What I didn't expect was that it would lay all the way flat. And it's a manual operation. Um, it's not automatic, unfortunately. So you have to do, do this kind of dial where you're turning counterclockwise. So this is actually my favorite thing because I have a back problem, back and neck problems. And traveling and sitting in one position for a long period of time is really, really detrimental for my back and neck and gives me a lot of stiffness. So. This is something I use. Now I can't vouch for the safety of this. I don't know that you can um, survive a traffic accident when you're reclined back if you're actually, uh, if the car is actually driving when you're doing this. But I did do it while we were driving for a few short periods of time when we were on some of our longer trips. So you can see now that it is completely reclined and it is totally flat here. There's the seat up here and here's the back of it. So that's something that was just pretty unexpected and cool uh, that I really love and something that has saved me a lot of grief. Now a couple of things that we didn't love about the van I should say are uh, the stereo is not the best stereo and the console to hook up your phone to use GPS is definitely not the best computer system. Um, you can do upgrades so I think if you care a lot about that then that would be something you could just upgrade on your own. But the other major thing that we really don't like about the van, and this is really the only thing that we really don't like about the van, is this sliding door here has to be really slammed tight in order to close all the way and in order for the vehicle not to give you an error light. So that, for example, was not a solid shut. And I don't know if I can even do one because it's on a hill right now, but the best way to get it to shut for sure is to be parked with the, the front seats downhill and the back of the van going uphill. And then you've got gravity working for you. Let's see if I can try again. That probably was a secure shut that time. The second thing that really delighted me about the van that I didn't know until I was driving at home when I first got in the driver's seat was the expansive views that you get out the front in the cab. So the cab is basically wall to wall windows and it is just amazing. It really actually would be even better if your seats were a little lower because then you could look up a little better as it is the view kind of ends um, at your forehead and so you're looking more downward, but it is a huge front window. And the side windows are not bad either. So there's very little space um, on the panorama that is not window when you're sitting in either the driver's seat or the passenger seat. And so I really love that about this van and I love traveling in it for that reason. I think my favorite RVs in the past when we've had RVs have been the RVs with the most windows because we could have the most view. But I've never had a vehicle that had this much window and being able to drive down the road and enjoy the view like this has been pretty amazing. 
Something else that's really cool about the design of the van is this adjustable seat belt. Let me zoom in on it so you can see. It's meant to adjust to your height. So if you're a shorter person like me, you'll have it all the way down. But if you are taller, you can move it up like this. And um, it makes it so that I don't need this thing that I have in all of my cars, this kind of uh, Velcroed fuzzy wrap for wearing so that if my seatbelt is cutting me off at the neck here, um, my neck doesn't get a rash or a red spot from all the rubbing. So I do still have one of these on here, but I don't really need it. I find that it's at the right height, which is really cool that it's considering shorter people in the design. A little thing that I like about the van design is that there are six cup holders up front here. So <laughs> my husband and I like to have lots of beverages when we're driving and riding in the car, but I never ever experience the luxury of having six beverage holders. It's really nice because then you can have an extra beverage or two for when you run out of water or just you just need something different than water. So we've really appreciated them. There's one in the door. Three under the console. And there's one actually in the console right there. And again, another one in the driver's side door. Now this is kind of a silly thing, but I really think this is cool. So pretty much anywhere that you have a divot in your door or a place to hold things, you're going to have a removable little tray, like a little rubber tray at the base of it so you can clean it. And for those of you who like to detail your car, this is going to be a real treat. So for example, right here in my door, right next to me is this little tray to put things in like your sunglasses and this rem is removable and the same thing goes for the drink holder here in the front console it's got a little removable tray it's kind of hard to get out but and it's flexible but it's really cool that you can remove those kinds of things and clean them and finally i'm really impressed with the amount of storage that we can fit in to the rear of the van. Now this has more to do with the design of our van build and not all ProMasters are gonna be built out like ours, but most of them are with the elevated bed and back. So let me show you our garage and how much we can actually fit into it. It's pretty impressive. This isn't everybody's design, but this is pretty much what most people have in the back of their van is a big garage underneath. We have these drawers built out and some little cubbies up above our water tank, which is down here. So for the cubbies, we keep our kayak paddles up there and our fishing poles down here. In the drawers, we have everything from backup food to backpacks and lots and lots of camp stove type gear. We have our shower over here in this corner. And we don't use that very often. But the coolest thing is this open area and just how big it is. You can see we have two camp chairs here. We actually have two folding electric bikes that go, one is in the back there and one is here. And then we have our two folding kayaks. I just love these things. They've been so amazing. I didn't know what to think at first and if they would get, if they're gonna be worth it, you know, just being able to fold them up quickly enough to use them and for them to be convenient the way that you imagine that they will be. And they totally are, they're amazing. Anyway, we can fit the bikes. You can see the tire of the other bike in the back there and the kayaks in here and still have tons of room in the drawers for storage. So that kind of gives you an idea of how much gear you can fit in the back along with all of your electrical components and everything else you need the water tank and solar charger and inverter so that's been a delightful surprise as well so that completes my summary of my favorite things that were a surprise after buying our promaster 
Thanks for watching and watch for another video from me along these same topics soon. Bye!